short break here, but when we come back, we're going to tell you about the official Los Angeles tsunami evacuation route. It's up here, and we're going to tell you how it works. So you're talking about a time span of about six hours based on our projections. That's after the break. We'll see you then. It took only a matter of minutes before miles and miles of coastline in Japan were wiped out by a giant wave. So what if a tsunami struck right here in Southern California? How would hundreds of thousands of people evacuate? Turns out in L.A. County there is a plan, but few may know about it. Here's reporter Dave Melkoff. Fifteen minutes, that's just about how much warning time the Japanese had before the first monster wave hit the coastline. From earthquake to tsunami in 15 minutes. Here on the California coast, there's a very different kind of threat. In the past few days, you may have seen these signs popping up around the beach in Los Angeles. Right now, we're located in the city's emergency operations center. This is where those signs are coming from. How high the water surges. Chris Simpson is with the city of Los Angeles, and lately, he's had his eye on a disaster scenario coming from Alaska. Uh, the large earthquake would trigger a sudden rise in water. So picture a lot of water. And you could see up in, uh, in the Alaska area. And that, uh, that surge, that tsunami surge, is going to start impacting Washington, Oregon, uh, Northern California, and then into the Southern California area. So you're talking about a time span of about six hours based on our projections. It's happened before. This LA Times article is from 1964. An 8.8 .8 in Alaska sent a tsunami right into the northern coastal town of Crescent City. 11 people died that day. Today, while a sailboat on the ocean wouldn't even notice the tsunami passing underneath, sophisticated warning buoys would. There's also an official tsunami evacuation route for Los Angeles. Some of our major uh, evacuation routes, you're looking at Sunset Boulevard, Temesco Canyon, Canyon Road, and Chautauqua. Once we know a tsunami is on the way, people on the coast in the Venice area should start following those signs. Don't worry, these maps are posted online right now at ktla.com slash Dave. The harbor area also has its own designated streets to get you away from the incoming wave. What's the advantage of shutting down the other routes and only having the designated streets? Wouldn't you want everybody to have as many egress points as possible? I think initially what you're going to see is people are, you know, we're going to trigger the, uh, the notification that we want people to evacuate. So obviously we're not going to be able to close down the streets immediately. If it's an overwhelming situation, we're very flexible. The goal is to have everyone on the coast prepared with a map and a go kit, essentials only. It just cuts down on panic and it allows you to communicate to your family where you're going to be. On the tsunami evacuation route, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. If you live in a danger area, you should get those maps in the mail. The city also has a reverse 911 system that will ring your phone long before that wave hits. And Good advance notice. Yeah, absolutely. I live in Venice. I live in the worst part. Get your maps. And the night of the Japan quake, I have to admit, I didn't stay home. Get your maps. Scared. Get your maps. All right.